Okay, but it's the issue of our time. So we have the Massachusetts governor, Mara Haley, um, you know, doing a little interview, a Zoom call, of course, where she's in her own house because she probably didn't bother to go out and do it in person. Um, but she's talking about the need to house migrants here in Boston. So, Juice, you want to give it to us? Emotional, guys, okay? Because I'm committed to this. Little kids need to be able to breathe clean air. They need to be able to access swimming pools. They need to have lifeguards there who are going to teach them how to swim. And they need to have activities. I don't know what we're going to do for a couple, three months. I'll call universities. I'll call other places. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do for a couple, a couple three, three months. A couple, three months. Just <laughs> slip that in there. No, if you go back, you'll see that I said three months. Oh, oh yeah, a couple, four, three months. Yeah. Uh, and then what about the other thing too? Like these kids need all, all kids need access to swimming pools and lifeguards. Can't grow Clean up air. without. Like, what? What are you talking about? And meanwhile, this... uh, well, we oh, have right. something coming in live though. We got live <laughs> look, live looking down at the border. Let's see. Let's uh, go to our border reporter. <laughs> all right, Here let's do it. Oh, the those people all the gift cards. Remember they said that now. <laughs> those people saw Governor Haley uh, speaking on the news, and they were making their way here to Massachusetts. She said, uh, well, "A couple, three months." One couple, yeah, might that's that might be how long it takes them to get up here. They they gotta walk. Yeah. You see, I mean, they're starting the trek now. Absolutely crazy, but like, it's so funny to see these liberal, you know, woke politicians have to eat their own words, basically. Um, when you're sending these illegal aliens to Chicago, to Massachusetts, to New York, and they can't sustain them. They can't do anything. We had people sleeping in the airport in Logan airport. Just it's turned it into a refugee camp. Uh, New York's a disaster. Chicago's a disaster. So it's happening all over the place. And these people, like they just can't get it through their thick skulls. And Logan can't sustain just a standard day's travel. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's brutal. So uh, what do we got? We got, we have another one, right? Oh yeah, it's like the kid. You what know, was when this they one? beat up the cops. They beat up. The oh cops. yes, yeah. And that and they this got was in New York. Bail, zero. Yeah. Bail. So we have we have the governor of Massachusetts first crying and trying to um trying to to basically shame you into accepting illegal immigration here in your in your state in your city, and you have to like help them, give them money, house them. If you have an extra room in your house, bring them in. She was saying she that. Said, at we're, one point. Uh, we're talking to other colleges and stuff. They're going to kick yeah. kids out of their dorm rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. They shut well, down. That you might as well get free education. Yes. How about the school in New York? Remember? Um, nature. They shut down for the day because it was going to snow and they needed to house migrants in there instead so that kids and couldn't go to, to school. Remote learning. Yeah. 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 Um, and then, like, it's just happening all over the place. So she starts off with that. Obviously, we just showed you what's happening on the wall. And uh, this one here is what's happening in New York City after these guys. This is the guy who beat up two police officers. There was like an eight, ten, something like that, couple, three months uh, on <laughs> an eight on two uh, migrant. They caught to five cop. of them or so. They yeah. Five of them or so. And they were just beating them up. It was brutal. Like, in and out. And just like checked them in. Right. Yeah. Oh, you don't have any records? Like, okay. Boom. Uh, that Immediately will make this process, released. This will make this process easier. I don't even have to, you know, Wait, the lady you don't exist? The key, like, no, no the license? Lady. Fingerprint not on file? No, we have no remember clue the, who we are in this country? All right, good. Remember the keyboard from uh, um, Meet the Parents? And this lady's what? trying to get the, she's doing the keyboard and she's at the airport. Oh yeah, looking for flights, yeah. like trying to book them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. He's just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was. And they just uh, let this guy out. So all these reporters were outside afterwards, 
trying to get a glimpse of this, um, you know, poor illegal immigrant who just needs a pool and a lifeguard. He'd be all set with a, with a pool and a lifeguard, some clean air. That's all he needs. But this is how he responded. Send to Fox News now, NYPD making two more arrests, illegal immigrants and that attack on officers. Those suspects also allegedly stole an officer's cell phone. Well, that'll help them track you down. So a fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. He was seen. Crazy. The, think about the, the, the entitlement that takes to do that. Do you imagine either of us being, being dropped in France and in Russia, North Korea, China, breaking their laws, getting arrested, getting released, and acting like that afterwards? What do you think would happen? Brittany Griner had a couple of couple of vials for her uh, e vape pen, vape pen, e vape, couple three months for for her vape pen in Russia, and they put her in the gulag for months. E boy, yeah. So come on, again, what are we doing here, people? The gulag. <laughs> what are we doing, Juice? Beats me. Um, what was the last bit? Oh, I don't think entitlement is the right word. I think they're like being told something. Like they're they're not gonna avoid, like. Do you know what I mean? I don't think they really feel entitled, but I think they feel emboldened might be the word because okay. they know this administration is doing. Nothing. They're getting hooked up with a free. Entitled lawyer. kind of feels like you're you're like I have something already, is, so I'm okay, entitled okay. to that. Okay. But yeah, you're right. Maybe that's, emboldened. That's Whereas the emboldened immigrant the uh, is a, here to yeah. fourth, yeah. <laughs> here to four, uh, oh, flipped TA. off the cameras. <laughs> yeah. uh, crazy. But I can't understand how somebody could do that. Um, I can't understand how people are going to vote for that. But I'm telling you, like, I don't think I'm Nostradamus here. Was that the guy, the prediction guy? Uh, I don't think I'm him by telling you guys this. Our side of the aisle, we're going to want to talk about what's going on at the border, how our cities are overrun, how we cannot sustain the amount of illegal and legal immigration that is flooding into our country. That's what we're going to want to talk about until November. The left is going to want to talk about abortion and women's rights and how men want to control women. That's what it's going to come down to. I'm telling you, that's that's the way I see it, at least. Um I don't think I don't think it's a genius prediction or anything. I feel like it's kind of obvious, but that that's what the battle is going to come down to. You could there's going to be plenty of other things that all you know get get mixed in as well, but those two issues are going to be the main issues. And hopefully we do the right thing. Hopefully people are able to see through the nonsense and uh and and realize who it is we need to vote for. What do you think? You said it all. I love it. All right. Um, so, Miss Mara Haley and the rest of the Democrat uh, clowns out there who want to just keep open borders and pretend away the issue like nothing's happening, um, we got nothing else to say to you guys except... Uh... Come on, man. Woo! I thought you were going to say a big, fat... Class, try that again. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got nothing to say to you guys except one big fat classic. Come on, man. Oh, I haven't done it in a while like that. I forgot what I said to to build in. And I've mocked that out there. We gotta fix it. We'll go back. Hey, that's okay. Put it in the comments if you like it or not. (laughs) Uh, Okay.